Hey guys, King of Charmanders here, and today I bring to you the best Thunder Elemental meta builds for Dancing in the Tempest. This video explores all best Thunder Elemental builds in the game. We will explore all weapon types, so that includes melee and ranged as well. And the great thing about Thunder is Thunder is one of the most flexible elements in the game. First, we're going to start off with the Thunder Elemental Monster Types comparisons. So, the Thunder Elemental Monster Types as of Dancing in the Tempest are Zenogre. Kezu, Sisiaku, and Toby Kadachi. So, the new update added one more monster to this list, and it's actually better than Sisiaku and Toby Kadachi. Well, barely. Here we compare all the Thunder monster types available as of Dancing in the Tempest, and as you see here at 10 5 maxed out, the Zenobra weapons are still the strongest. Kezu is the new monster type that has the potential to get even stronger with its 20% affinity boost. More affinity equals more damage to raw and elemental combined, so if you're able to proc it, it's really good. However, despite that positive affinity, there is barely a difference between every monster type, so if you already have a 10-5 thunder weapon built, other than Zenogre, that's perfectly fine. No, seriously, look, it's a 6 to like 8%. Not that much of a big deal if you have a 10-5 weapon of Tobi Kodachi and Sisiaku, and you don't have a Zenogre one, you don't need to build the Kezu one because it's super close. So don't worry about it. Next up, we're going to start off with the melee weapons. This is the Thunder melee builds damage comparison. And here you have Thunder attack level 5 with the melee builds, and these are the top 6. Here we compare the top 6 Thunder melee builds as of Dancing in the Tempest. One of the big differences is the Kezu Mail, which is providing Thunder Attack Level 2 at Grade 6. So it's a brand new piece of equipment, allowing you more flexibility with your Thunder builds. And as you see right here, the top build has Critical Eye Level 2. And the only caveat is that it requires a subspecies armor piece. You need the Pink Rothian Mail at Grade 6, and it's a subspecies, but it's been out for a while. So if you have the materials to build it, it is the strongest build when you pop that slot in. However, there is a minimal difference between the top 6, so if you decide to use any of these top 6 melee builds, they will work really well. Seriously, look, 2, 4, 5% between all of these, so even if you use one of them, you're going to find a minimal drop off in what to use. However, if you are able to build the pieces for the top build, that's going to serve you pretty well for a very long time. And speaking of that best melee build, here we have the best thunder attack level 5 melee build. This build can be used by Sword and Shield, Greatsword, Longsword, Hammer, Dual Blades, Lance, Charge Blade, and Gun Lance. This build provides Thunder Attack level 5 and has a theoretical practical damage assessment of 3757, which is the highest out of all the damage comparisons you saw in the last slide. Lock On is provided by the Kuro Puke Puke Helm and Weakness Exploit Level 2 and Critical Eye Level 2 provides 40% positive affinity when you're attacking weak spots. And the build also has Burst Level 1 for extra damage, so it's the whole package. You got Lock On, you got Thunder Attack at Level 5, and you got a high amount of damage. To use this build, you need the Zenogre weapons at Grade 8, Grade 10 are as high as you can get it, the Coral Puke Puke Helmet at Grade 8, the Kezu Mail at Grade 6, the Zenogre Van Braces at Grade 6, the Pink Rothian Mail at Grade 6, and the Zenogre Greaves at Grade 6. However, there is one more melee build we have to talk about, and that is for the Gunlance. This is the best Thunder Gunlance build, which is Thunder Attack Level 4 and Artillery Level 3. This build is for the Gunlance and provides a high level of Thunder Attack at Level 4. For the Gunlance, you need Artillery Level 3, it's the standard, as Artillery Level 3 gives you 1 extra ammo and 20% extra damage. So because of that, you need artillery level 3. Unfortunately, you can't go any higher than that, but at level 3, you get that one extra piece of ammo and that 20% extra damage, which is vital. For normal ammo gun lance types, it works best when you're using burst fire and worm stake shot. So when you're using those two things and everything else the gun lance has to offer, you'll do maximum damage. In addition, you have weakness exploit level 2, which increases affinity by 25% when you attack weak spots. And of course, one of the most goaded helmets in the game, the Coral Puke Puke Helmet, provides lock-on. To use this build, you need the Zenogre Gunlance at Grade 8 or higher, as high as you can get it, the Coral Puke Puke Helmet at Grade 8, the Basario Smail at Grade 6, Zenogre Vanbraces at Grade 6, Toby Kodachi Coil at Grade 6, 
and the Basarios Greaves at grade 4. But what about offensive guard? Well, here we have offensive guard level 5 versus thunder attack level 5. And as you see here, offensive guard is a powerful build style that can be stronger than other elements in a hunt if you're, if you're good at proccing it. But the problem with that is that, as we see here, per the data, thunder attack level 5 beats offensive guard level 5. I find it kind of ironic because I had someone comment on one of my videos that they're like, Oh, these are the best builds according to you or from my experience. Um, no, I use data all the time with my videos. So data is absolute unless you have something better. So that person has no idea what they're talking about because they don't use data. This is why it's important to use data. Because as we see here, again, Thunder Attack level 5 beats Offensive Guard level 5. So there's no reason for you to use it. And this isn't surprising for Thunder as you waste time proccing Offensive Guard and Thunder Attack is more consistent. In addition, you have those big monsters like Kushala and Devil Joe that take 150% damage from Elemental. So instead of Offensive Guard, you want to build Thunder Attack as much as you can. Next, we're going to move on to ranged weapons, starting off with the Light Bowgun. This is the Thunder Light Bowgun build's damage comparison, and here we compare the top 6 Thunder Light Bowgun builds as of Dancing in the Tempest. The Thunder Light Bowgun is able to get high levels of Thunder Attack thanks to the recent major updates. We have a lot of Thunder Attack options here. However, despite Thunder Attack being the strongest build, the rest of the top 6 come really close. So even though there's a lot of options, and yes, you see that top build right there, it's still, yeah, the rest of the top 6 come really close. And sadly, this is just the nature of the Light Bowgun builds, as Recoil Down Level 3 and Reload Speed Level 3 take priority to maximize damage per second, which is DPS for short. However, as you see for this top build, you're still able to get Recoil Down Level 3, Reload Speed Level 3, and Elemental Attack Level 4. Meaning, this is one of the builds where you could get the highest amount of Elemental Attack, along with Reload Speed 3 and Recoil Down 3, which is vital for the Light Bowgun. And this leads us into the best Thunder Light Bowgun build. This is Thunder Attack Level 4, Recoil Down Level 3, Reload Speed Level 3, Light Bowgun build. This build maxes out recoil down level 3 and reload speed at level 3. And this build has a high level of thunder attack at level 4. As you saw in the damage comparison, it is the highest one. And it has some great bonuses. Because this build has evade extender level 1. Which is a great movement skill because it allows you to reposition faster and avoid monster attacks that would normally require one more dodge. Evade Extender level 1, even though it's level 1, is amazing. If you've used it, you know. If you don't, well, it's really good. Along with that, you have Artful Dodger level 1, which mixes well with Evade Extender and takes advantage of Light Bowgun's Perfect Dodge Reload buff. If you Perfect Dodge with the Light Bowgun, you get a plus 1 ammo or you reload your entire thing, which is really cool. So, it's really awesome, and that's why Artful Dodger and Evade Extender, again, are a really great combination. To use this build, you need the Zenogra Light Bowgun at grade 8 or higher. You need the Sisiaku Helmet at grade 6. The Palumu Mail at grade 6. Zenogra Van Braces at grade 6. Koro Puke Puke Coil at grade 6. And the Azerath Los Greaves at grade 6. Moving on, we have the Bow, which is the second of the ranged weapons other than the Light Bowgun. And this is the top 6 Thunder Bow builds damage comparison. Here we compare the top 6 Thunderbow builds as of Dancing in the Tempest. Thunder is one of the most flexible elements of the game, and thanks to this you are able to get high levels of Thunder Attack with Focus. As you see for the top build right here, we have Focus 5 and Elemental Attack Level 4. Focus 5 is the standard for Thunder Attack Bow builds, as this is possible thanks to recent major updates. So you have the Kezu Mail now that can give you a Thunder Attack, and now you have a whole bunch of other things you could do with Thunder Bows. However, again, Focus 5 and Elemental Attack Level 4 are actually the top one, as you see right here. And this leads us to the best Thunder Bow build. As I mentioned before, this is Focus Level 5 and Thunder Attack Level 4 Bow build. This build maxes out Focus at Level 5, allowing you to get that 30% build up for faster charge attacks. Along with that, you have a high level of Thunder Attack at level 4. Evade Extender level 1 is a great movement skill because it allows you to reposition faster and avoid monster attacks that would normally require one dodge, more more dodge. 
The only caveat to this build is that you do need the Kushala Deor of Ambraces at grade 8, which is an Elder Dragon interception piece of equipment. So that's the only caveat. However, you do have Artful Dodger level 1, which mixes well with Evade Extender and allows you to get to charge level 4 faster if you perform a perfect dodge. For the bow, if you do a perfect dodge, you get plus 2 levels, so that means you just have to do one more charge and then you can fire at level 4. To use this build, you need the Zenogra Bow at grade 8 or higher, the Azerathos Hummet at grade 6, the Kazumail at grade 6, Kushalador of Vambraces at grade 8, Toby Kodachi Coil at grade 6, and the Gyrotodus Greaves at grade 6. Hopefully this video helps you with your Thunder Elemental builds for Dancing in the Tempest. Thunder is one of the most flexible builds in the game and is strong against many monsters in the game, which is really cool because yeah, there's a lot of monsters weak to thunder, and there will be more in the future. Well, we have Mizutsune coming up, so it's going to be weak to thunder. So yeah, there you go. But that's what's great. You have a lot of options with thunder, and there's a lot of things you could put around it. So if there's something you don't like or something you prefer, as you see in all this data evidence we present, because I actually present data instead of just putting stuff out there. So it's not just my opinion, no. As far as the data goes, if you do minimum adjustments to your Thunder build, it's not going to affect it too much. So it's really up to you. With that being said, please do me a huge favor. Like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds. Hopefully you have everything you need for your Thunder Elemental builds for Mizutsune and all the other monsters weak to Thunder in the future. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next video.